Okay, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the IMU working, and I'm also going to kind of overview the room that I'm going to be attempting to map in. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the IMU. So, this is the screen that I use to actually monitor and see whether or not the IMU is moving the same way that it is on the screen. So this is a package called the 9 Degree of Freedom Razor IMU Package. Um, it's a ROS package. If you look, you can see that this square here, the way it's bouncing, that's part of the synchronization errors that I was talking about. So even though that the IMU here is stationary, and to my knowledge, we're not experiencing an earthquake, <laughs> you see that it's still bouncing. So, other than that, um, what I mainly want to demonstrate is just that when I move it in the real world, that it correlates to what moves on the screen. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So here I have it on a swiveling chair so I can easily move it. And we're just gonna try to watch both. So bear with me, I'm trying to take this with the iPhone. So. But here you'll see I'm rotating the chair on the right and on the left you'll see it moving with the screen. So there the synchronization errors are minimized. With more fine tuning I can probably get rid of that last bit of jitter. But um, at the moment it doesn't seem to affect mapping. So. Other than that, I also want to show the room. So this is a break room at my job. But it's pretty much a rectangular room. Kind of a <laughs> old school theme here, but you get the idea. So what we're gonna be doing next is attempting to map this and you'll see that here in a few minutes.